I'm Sanji. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time checking me out, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your support. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so that you will be notified when I upload new content. So that being said, let's get into this video. We are discussing Aquarius. Well, who's an Aquarius? An Aquarius is anyone born on or between January 20th through February the 18th. Aquarius is the 11th sun sign of the astrological chart and they're known as our water bearers. So if you're an Aquarius, this video is about you. Let's get into it. Let's talk about some basic common traits attributed to the Aquarian. Now, of course, you could be that special Aquarian unicorn that none of these things apply to, and that's quite all right. We're not talking about you. But for the general masses, we're discussing common traits of the Aquarian. So, what are they? Let's talk about it. Aquarians are an exciting blend of mischief and deep thought. If you're looking for mental stimulation, fun, and sexiness in your partner, well, look no further. You're gonna get that in your Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is unlikely to be interested in winning the approval or compliments of other people. They just don't need it. They're very self-confident people and they already know what they know about themselves. So you saying it, that's great, but do they need it? Not so much. They're often very bold, non-conforming, and sometimes shocking in what they say and in what they do. Now Aquarius tend to be relatively detached people at the start of relationships. It is quite common for those involved in Aquarius relationships to question where they stand with their partners because Aquarians tend to be aloof initially. Now, this works well if you are a sun sign that is independent, but this can cause a lot of problems or confusion if you are a sun sign partner that requires feedback. Now, our Aquarians are known as the scientists of the Zodiac because they tend to question most things rather than just accept them at face values. Now, Aquarians have a very healthy disregard for tradition and social expectations just because. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to find that your Aquarius does traditional things. Of course they do but they do it because they choose to do it, not because society tells them to. That's the difference. Now, if something doesn't make sense to your Aquarian, the first thing they're going to do is suggest that you change it. <laughs> first, they're gonna ask you why you do that. Then they're gonna tell you that it does make sense. And then they're gonna ask you to please change it. Now, Aquarians are also known to have very unique points of view which makes them quite fascinating to other people. Our Aquarians can come across as detached or distant or even cold at times, but that's not true because Aquarians are also known to be the humanitarians of the astrological chart. So one thing about the Aquarian is that although they seem distant from you, the fact is that they can become distracted by their own deep thoughts and they are big picture people as opposed to people people, if you understand what I mean. They appreciate an intellectual and independent partner with an unconventional mind who isn't too emotionally needy, all right? Now, some of the things that you will find that your Aquarian might like will be fun with friends. Friendship 
is very important to Aquarians. They value it. So one of the number one things you want to do with your Aquarian is to become their friend. They also enjoy helping others. They are quite the intellectual, great conversationalists, but also fantastic listeners. Aquarians are known to regurgitate word for word something that you said to them prior to. So you want to be very sure to watch your words when you're conversing with an Aquarian because not only are they giving you feedback, they're also listening quite contently to everything it is that you're saying. Now, they want someone they can communicate with and although the Aquarians are passionate and uninhibited by their thoughts, they really do need you to be someone that they can befriend before anything else. Now, the quality and balance of your relationship will largely be determined by the mental connection that you have with your Aquarian, okay? Now, here are some of the things that a lot of Aquarians are found to dislike. They don't like limitations. They don't believe in their limitations in most cases. M most Aquarians believe you can do whatever you set your mind to do. They also don't like broken promises. So if you're one of those people that has a tendency to just promise, 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 and not follow through, you are not going to make it with your Aquarian. They also don't like dull or boring situations, and they're known to not really like people who disagree with them. <laughs> because after all, Aquarians fancy themselves to be quite intellectual, and they put deep thought into their thoughts. So if they think that you are discounting their point of view towards a situation, good luck with that. Now, some weaknesses you may find in an Aquarian is that they have a tendency to run from emotional expression. They would prefer that you give them a logical point of view as opposed to how you feel about it. They can be temperamental. They can be uncompromising once they have decided that this is the way they think about it. And, of course, they are known to be romantically aloof. So... The way that you find yourself spending quality and fantastic time with an Aquarian is that you must first capture their mind, become their friend, and then you will capture their heart. Okay? So that's how you do it. Those are some basic generalities about Aquarian people. Now, of course, we're just comparing sun signs here, and this is just giving us a broad brush stroke to what your interactions could be like with an Aquarian. Now, of course, if you're that unicorn Aquarian that this doesn't apply to you, well then, okay, it doesn't apply to you. But for the rest of us, this we're gonna take a look at how your sun sign compares with our intellectually aloof Aquarius. So stay tuned and see how you match up with Aquarian right after this. Hello Aquarius with Aquarius. Welcome to your matchup. Now Aquarius with Aquarius is a very interesting matchup as you're both very intellectual and progressive people. The danger in this matchup is getting the two of you to stop being aloof and to actually connect and make it a relationship. Now, you're, you will mesh so well mentally, chances are, that you'll almost certainly be best friends. And that can sometimes take you from the lover's zone straight into friend zone. So, that's what you want to watch out for between an Aquarius with an Aquarius, that you guys don't put so much emphasis on being friends that you stay just friends. Now, the problem 
also is that you're both fairly emotionally aloof, as I said, and somewhat impersonal in relationships. So you will spend a lot of time in your head discussing your thoughts and a lot less time discussing how you feel. So what you want to do in this matchup is to make sure that you spend just as much quality time putting in the effort in the emotional arena as you do in picking each other's brains about how you each feel about different areas of thought, okay? Now you're both outgoing and relatively stable people and are likely to enjoy high-tech gadgets and the, and the news. You like discussing what's happening around you and the latest gadgets and invention and do you have those things? Well, of course, that can tie up all of your time. But again, in this matchup, we want to be careful that we stay in lover's lane even though we are very much the best of friends. You are both free spirits, intelligent, objective, and analytical people. So you will definitely have a respect for each other's point of view. However, it has been known that if you are an Aquarian that is perhaps too far out there in your thinking for your Aquarian mate, this could definitely pose a problem as we both know Aquarians get pretty strong willed about their beliefs and the two of you could go head to head if you don't find that you and your Aquarian mate have similar foundation and ground roots, okay? Now there will be great chemistry, of course, mentally, because that is, of course, how you stimulate an Aquarian first, is through their mind. You'll both enjoy that intellectual stimulation, and chances are that could lead to some physical appreciation. You aren't afraid to experiment, and you have been known to like that partner that might be considered odd to perhaps another sun sign. Now there's a danger of this friendship intellectual dynamic spoiling the lovers dynamic. And a lot of times an Aquarian and Aquarian relationship can sometimes sometimes ends up in a we're better off as friends type dynamic. Typically that happens after a few lovemaking sessions, but I digress. <laughs> so it's best to combat this friend zone thing and make sure, as I said, that you two spend as much quality time in how you feel about each other as you do in how you think about one another. And this matchup sometimes lacks emotional depth so it is important that you each try to establish an emotional bond very early on. That emotional bond will increase in its depth as the two of you continue to stimulate each other intellectually through various forms of communication. But you two understand that about each other. The thing is that you can't wait for your Aquarian partner to do it instead of you doing it. You both have to make the effort to do it. You have to nurture your romantic and emotional bond whenever possible, along with the internet intellectual connection. Okay? So, it is possible in this matchup, especially for you to be both lovers and friends, but of course, as with all things, you gotta work at it. So, there you have it, Aquarius with Aquarius. If you are in an Aquarian with an Aquarian relationship and you'd like to tell us more about it, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck, Aquarian with Aquarian. 
And remember, don't just be in your mind. Got to get in the heart, too. At least a little bit. Until next time, I'm Sanji. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.